half a year since October 7th, families are left holding on to hope that their loved ones will still return home. Well, joining us now is one of those holding on to hope, Yarden Gonan. Her younger sister, Romy, is 23 years old. She was kidnapped from the Nova Music Festival on October 7th. Yarden, thank you so much for being here. Um, I really appreciate it. Did you thank ever you. imagine that six months later, you would still be waiting for your sister's release? Gosh, no. I was sure it wouldn't happen in a week. Two weeks tops. I never imagined it would took so long. You know, even at the first deal, at November deal, you uh, showed here a bunch of pictures and videos, and I was like, oh my God, I want that so badly, so badly that my sister be home and that I can't wait to us to be reunited with her. And it feels like it slips right under our fingers because she was the, the category that's supposed to be released on October, on November's deal. Right, they and were supposed to release all the women. Hamas broke it. Yeah, they were. And we still have left behind 19 women. Five of them we already know that are not among the living, unfortunately. And we have to make that deal happen. These current talks about the deal has to happen because we can't afford ourselves to lose another one of our loved ones to those terrorists that think they control the world. Do you still have hope she's alive? I know she's alive. How? I know it. So I don't know how to explain it. We're sisters. We're... I feel my sister, you know? I can feel her. I, I see those videos and I, it makes me such a joy to see her laugh because I can really feel her, her strength, her fight for her life. I know that she's doing everything in her power to remain alive and to survive, even though we have no news about her, no sign of life since day 55. It's 130 days ago, but I feel it. I have a strong intuition and I rely on it and I will continue to rely on it up until the moment she'll be here. So you say something very interesting there that you're certain she would do whatever it took to survive. Some people might not be that strong. You think your sister is? I'm sure she is. I know her ever since she's a little child. She cares so much for others and for herself. She knows how to make a connections. She knows how, without even trying, she knows how to make people fall in love with her because she's really is amazing. She's a ray of sunshine and she's illuminating every room that she enters. So I know she's doing anything she can for her and others, survivals, and I'm sure she's managing it. I um, really hope that she's not alone so she can treat others like her family and will give her more strength even to continue fight for their lives. There are many families of the hostages in Israel who've been protesting and those protests have grown louder and larger in Israel over the past few days, weeks and months. Um, there is enormous pressure right now on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, to do more. Yeah. Many feel that he's prioritizing killing Hamas over freeing the hostages. Are you f satisfied that he's doing everything he can be doing, or are you also frustrated? Unfortunately, they are not here. They haven't been released yet. So it means it's, it's so harmful, and I'm sorry, not harmful. It's painful for me to say that, but it even means that I haven't done enough to release my sister as long as she's not here with me. So it surely means that none of the decision makers have done enough to release her. And I am I want to rely on him and put my, I don't have a choice, but I'm putting my trust in him that he's looking at her and all the other hostages like their own family. This is how he's supposed to treat that situation. He's the father of Israel. He's supposed to do anything he can, anything in his power to make them come home. The first mission of every government is supposed to take care of their own civilians. 
So I put my trust in him. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.